Hello and welcome to this tutorial on DEA and role of weights in DEA. Now DEA is data envelopment analysis as you might have seen in previous video that we find out efficient frontiers. Efficient frontiers act as our benchmarks and we try to bring all inefficient DMUs to the efficient frontier. If you are not aware of what efficient frontiers are or inefficient DMUs are, you can check out the other videos in this playlist of DEA. Now once we know that we have an efficiency frontier, that this is my efficiency frontier and these are my inefficient units. Efficiency frontier has the efficient units and remaining are inefficient units. Once I know this, now is the time to advance further to make these inefficient units efficient. For this, DMU is a iterative process wherein it picks up every single in inefficient unit and it gives some kind of weights to inputs and outputs so as to optimize it so as to make that inefficient unit the most efficient unit. What is DEA doing? It is giving weights to inputs and outputs for every single inefficient unit. It will pick one unit, give some weights and those weight combinations would be such that this inefficient DMU becomes the most efficient DMU. This is the process that we will be trying to do. And when we have those weights, we strive to achieve those kind of combinations. So this is what DEA will be doing. We will see this, how these weights play with the help of an example. So let me put that example over here, then we will talk about it. So here is our table, wherein we have four DMUs. We have classified the DMUs as post, courier, speed post and registered post. Then there are two inputs, manpower and floor area and then there are three outputs. So now let us go ahead and give them some variable weights and then we will see how DEA will try to optimize upon it. So let those weights be. So what these weights will do is. These weights will try to optimize upon the inefficient units. Now for now we are not sure about which are the inefficient units, which are the units that will be lying on efficiency frontier. But when we solve this using simplex, it will take care of the efficient units and the inefficient units and it will try to optimize upon these weights. What does simplex do in this case? Simplex tries to maximize let us say we are formulating it for post. Maximize maximize this. What is this? We can see maximize theta which is equal to 8 u1 plus 12 u2 plus 3 u3 upon 10 v1 plus 15 v2. So this is a weighted efficiency, weighted output upon weighted input. This is giving me efficiency of post department, my DMU called post. I need to maximize this efficiency subject to certain constraints. What are those constraints? The constraints are that efficiencies of none of these three, remaining three should be more than one. I need to optimize or maximize this efficiency subject to efficiencies of these three being less than one. How? Let us say, let us see. Now this is my formulation for a DEA, as simple as that. I will be maximizing it for post subject to the efficiencies for courier, speed post and register post remain less than or at most equal to 1. 
this is a very simple formulation and now the problem is what should these u1 u2 u3 v1 and v2 be such that this condition is met so this is an example we'll be taking forward discussing in the videos coming up where we'll be solving this model this particular model using dea for excel so we'll be using that plugin and solving these weights using dea solver for excel so this is it for introduction of the problem that we are going to take in the coming videos thanks for watching bye bye here are some cards related to the video you just watched feel free to browse across them and do leave your comments and suggestions and of course don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed thanks for watching bye bye